Hi, my name is Rod and this is the Orca Boat Shop. So I'm working on the Scana High Volume Kayak here for the customer. If you recall in week uh, three, I had fiberglass the hull on the outside and the hull was upside down. So with the fiberglass and the epoxy set, I rolled the boat over by simply undoing the wing nuts and lifting it off the strong back and now it's just going to sit in some stands here. So what have I done so far and what will I be working on this week? So if you recall, I added an extra layer of uh, fiberglass wrapped around the stems, a couple of layers of epoxy, sanded it, added some more epoxy. Now I've just sanded down the edges of that so that I don't cut my hands on any sharp edges. Then with the boat right side up, I trimmed back the overhang of the glass, which would have been along here. Uh, and then sanded down that edge so there's no sharp pieces uh, sticking up for me to cut my hands on. Then I've started to add a few strips along the shear. To make them go around some of the sharp curves, I've actually taken several strips in the table saw and cut them in half. Now these are just uh, square edge pieces and so I'm having to bevel the edges of all of these strips to get a nice tight fit as we work our way around the curve. I've got a few more strips to go and then we'll start running strips down the center line in which we'll do a bit of artwork. to miter nicely together on the center line. I've just kind of roughly cut the first one on this side. And now I'm going to roughly cut this one, but I'm going to oversize it a bit or cut it a bit long so I can trim. But I can just kind of sight down this, the uh, stem and have the saw going down the center line. So now I just need to trim this here so that it will drop down in the center so there's a bit of a, a bevel and a bit of a miter so I'm undercutting the strip here so that this will tuck into there so this one is glued in if I just push this strip over there and just cut through both at the same time well eventually this one We'll drop in. And beautiful. Just want to get that glue out of there so the next strip is not held up by a hardened piece of glue in there. So I've started the pattern on the uh, fore and aft portion of the kayak here. I'm using the Duke, which when sanded and cut is quite a brilliant orange color. And all I've done is place little thin strips of yellow cedar, mitered up to the uh, shear strips along here, and then just worked away. Now I don't have to fill too far back on either end because I'm going to cut a curved pattern in the end. So I haven't really shown this on the video. This was very time consuming, only a couple of pieces every hour or so. So uh, 
that's it now, but we'll get to cutting the uh, pattern in here and then the rest of the uh, open area here will just be filled with regular uh, yellow, or sorry, red cedar strips. just come straight across, make an arc, but I think maybe I'll do a little bit of a, an S curve in here. So that would just be pulling this in a little bit. And I'm just gonna draw very carefully across here. Down to that point there with my batten. That is the pattern that I'll cut out, which will be in the end of the boat. is just put a little bit of a pinstripe between here. I like the separation between sort of this one color and the next color. Uh, you know, it just makes for a tidier line. So I'm just going to get a piece that's going to go into here. This is yellow cedar. To just get it to fit in the corner there. Just kind of push it in and then do a curve cut along the line there. And that'll tuck nicely right into the corner. And then kind of just Hold it into place. I'll bring it around to here. Out of the Hadouken and the pinstriping, I've got two little thin strips of yellow cedar along the edge, fore and aft. And then I'm just going to give that a bit of a sand, clean it up. And then we'll move on to running regular strips from the center line out. I can just start by putting the first strip using the center lines on all the forms. Line it up, hold it down. You might be able to just get under there and draw a line. So 
so far I'm pretty good, but getting a little short in here, I need to make sure I'm coming longer. So I'm just gonna just do a rough draw here to make sure that we are covered far enough. Now this is the smaller pattern, so if I plank up for this pattern, then I definitely will be planked up for the larger pattern. So I think the next strip through here needs to come right through here. Then I'm going to need to start to line up to get uh, this strip and these strips here at the same number. Because eventually I'm going to need to run a strip right through the whole thing here. The difference of course is, is that the circumference in, you know, over this form here is a little bit less than the circumference over this form. So as much as we are filling from the center line out, they're starting to become a little bit askew because of the difference in the circumference and the number of strips to fill this area versus this area. So I've got to pay attention to that. And uh, we might have to make a few strips that are sort of slightly tapered to bring the angles back in line. Cut it out on the bandsaw, and then a bit of planing, and 
how it's going to work inch by inch by inch so we can fit this in. What I will point out is this last strip here, before I put it in, I actually beveled it quite a bit so we've got sort of a wedge opening that this piece can drop into. If it was sort of all square edged or even beveled the other way, it would be very difficult to sort of tuck it in underneath. So with my reference marks, I can just kind of line up and see that it's, you know, it's not going in yet. Where can I? I will just mark on the top here with a pencil. So I need to remove that area little by little by little. Thank you very much for watching.